too. All right, we're almost there, guys. This trail, this, this area is awesome, so it's even better that there's a perfect trail that I can pull my wagon through instead of going through the forest. But I need to come up over this hill, and there is the uh, shallow bay of the shallow bay where I want to fish. I believe, I hope. I hope this is the right So I've never walked this, so. I've seen it on the boat though. And I'm like, man, I could walk over there and wreck them channel cats. So, perfect day to do it. We gotta get up this giant mountain first. I hear boats. All right, this, this mountain here. All right. All right, we're somewhere close. We're very close. Oh man. Fishing is a lot of work, guys. It'll keep you healthy, though. I'm assuming that the water's warmed up to 50 degrees. So, shouldn't be a problem to wreck these fish. Let's hope there's some big ones. Whew. A lot of dirt bike tracks here. I'm about to fall out and die. Okay, there's the tree. So I know where I'm at. We're here. We're in the spot, boys and girls. Let's get down here and wreck some channel cats. It's gonna be fun. I'm sweating. There it is, there's the spot. Here's the lake. Actually, this isn't the lake. This is a, the bay off of the lake, a shallow one. It's not as windy as I thought it was gonna be. If they're here, I'll know within 10 minutes. The bite's usually pretty good this time of year, so. Man, this is beautiful though. I don't know if a lot of people fish this or not. But I am. It's gonna be my new favorite spot. All right, there's the bait, guys. Look at all them suckers. Suckers are running right now. So that's what I'm using for bait. I could probably fish it from up here. I just had to run down and grab the uh, fish. So We're gonna get set up, kind of like we're camping, but we're not gonna be here entirely that long, so. All right guys, so we are getting set up here. Um, like I said, we're on the bank today, and this bay is loaded with channel cats. I got really good bait. I stopped on my way, and I got these big old suckers out of the creek. They are um, a very, very meaty bait and a very bloody bait. So we're going to start chunking some up. A couple chunks, a couple fillets, you know. See what they're see what they're wanting. We'll find out pretty quick. All right, there's a nice fillet. Another nice fillet. 
we'll start with fillets here and then we'll we'll move on from there so the rods today are all tangled the rods today are going to be lighter action very sensitive and uh he's got a five odd hook a short shorter leader you know a little over a foot and a, a lightweight and we're casting on top from this top of this hill so we're gonna get some distance there we go look at that and that's where we want to be they should be tearing the suckers up who knows though you just never know how the fish are going to react but it's cool that i can fish from up top here i really enjoy bank fishing guys sometimes because there's it's just it's just like you're in the woods by yourself and uh yeah i just like it sometimes where do i put those other fillets Man, these are some really meaty baits. Hopefully there's some big ones in here. Here goes the second bait going out. Not huge. Last time. Well, I'm getting some distance out there. One more bait and we are set and waiting. It shouldn't take long. Hopefully I picked the right spot. That's all there is to it. Nice. We are out. We're ready, guys. Okay. We're set. Let's see what happens. There's one, guys, right there. First fish on. That was pretty fast. All right, first one took about six minutes. So they're in here. Let's see what the quality is looking like. I mean, I need to catch a few before I can figure that out. Oh, that's not a bad one. Nice. All right, let's get down there and get him. Show you guys what he's looking like. So like I mentioned, in a big bay, so. He liked that sucker, huh? It's not a real big one, but he's, he's all right. Yes, sir. Right in the corner of the mouth. All right. All right, first fish. A couple pound channel cat. So it tells me they're in here. It tells me they're eating. So those are the two things I needed to know. Now, can maybe experiment with bait size and stuff like that. Go. There he goes, right into the, into the log. He out of here. Right, that was on a fillet piece, so I'm gonna put another piece out. Just like it. Just like that. 
sure a lot of the hook is exposed and there's no scales on there everybody knows not everybody knows but catfishing's getting pretty big so here we go we're gonna launch her back out same area See if we can get another one. There's one here. Got that one. Feels like a pretty decent one. This is number two, guys. It's a nice spot, though. There he is, jumping out there. Starting to move a little bit. About the same size as the last one. Which is okay. And they're really healthy. Try to eat that big boy bait, huh, bud? I know there's some bigger fish in here, so we'll see if we can get a few of them. Like that sucker, though, didn't he? Number two. Right there. Not a bad one. Definitely a good looking fish. Got some like green going on in them. Here he goes. All right. Let's do that again. Oh, there's one. There's another one. See if we can get this one. We got that one. Yeah, buddy. Number two or number three already. Looks like a pretty decent one out there. The boats are out in full force today, guys, so it's actually not going to hurt me. It should help me. Here we go. Number three is a pretty decent one. Nice fat one, too. Let's walk him down over here. go number three and they're definitely chopping the bait though it's uh, about the same size Nice, healthy looking fish, though. All right. So that's number three in a hurry. I've only been here about 20 minutes. Here we go, number three. And uh, they all look good. Definitely some bigger size fish that come in here, though. Hoping we could get those to bite. All right, here we go. 
All right, guys, so a couple tips I have wing channel cats is uh, look for shallower, muddy water about three to five feet deep. That's what I like. Even shallower when it's really warm, like on a warm, sunny day. I go two, one foot if I can. Water temp here is probably 49 degrees right now and climbing. Climbing fast because of the muddy, shallow water. So um, they're in here just foraging. As far as bait goes, um, shad or sucker or any soft bait um, that you can find. I don't normally start using bluegill until the water's over 50. And then that's just for a short period and I start catching a lot of flatheads. So um, right now this is this is fun. It's a lot of fun to come out here and you can catch a number of fish and uh, it could be fast action. So those are a couple tips and we got three fish so far and we're going to see if we can get a few more on this short trip out to the bank. So let's see what happens. They're biting very, very Big, big one? Or? I don't think so. Decent. You want to these ones? And then we'll... dirt bike. Hey guys, number five and six. Pretty decent fish. So one and two. A good little double there. Good times, good times. All right guys, that's all the time I got. Um, I've only been here a little while. We got like six fish, so it hasn't been bad um it, it was a weird bite though so um, you never know how they're going to be biting but you can usually um kind of figure it out after the first fish but it seems like they're not moving a whole lot today and you know it's it's different every day so you gotta you never know day by day the fish change their attitude and change their behavior so i hope you got something out of this video and learned a few things and uh, i'll see you guys on the next one thank you for watching